Uh, I'm now going to remove the seals from both sides of the crankcase uh, and then I'm going to remove the bearings and then I'm going to press the new bearings in and the new seals. Pressed all the bearings and the seals out and everything now, but as you can see, this is where the crank seal is to go, and it's very, very, very rough. So someone, when they've rebuilt the engine before, has prized the seal out very badly. So I'm just going to get a Dremel, um, and I'm going to Dremel that up as nicely as I can. And I'll probably have to uh, stick a bit of sealant round before putting the, uh, the crank seal in just to make sure it's okay. That's it, we've got all the, uh, all the bearings out and we've got the seals out and uh, the, uh, the crank seal surface that was damaged I've cleaned up reasonably well. I'm gonna uh, stick a bit of sealant, some like gasket paste on the, uh, the crank seal uh, before I put that in so that should take up any movement on the surface. There you have it, <clears throat> crankshaft uh, built up and trued, and uh, the two crankcases with all the bearings and seals replaced, ready for the uh, crank to go in, gearbox to go in, and the rest of the engine build, which I'll uh, complete later on this week at home.